Hi, I'm Bob Beauchamp, and I'm part of the Organizational Performance and Workplace Learning Program, or OPAL for short, here at Boise State. I'll be sharing a little bit about my field, as well as some of the blogs that I follow that are related to my field. So I work for United Federal Credit Union, and I've been there for almost 11 years. I'm currently an instructional designer for the credit union, and as an instructional designer, I get to do a lot of fun stuff. I get to design and develop web-based training modules, tutorial videos, job aids, and I get to write training guides for instructor-led courses. While a lot of people think I'm in the training field, I'm technically in the performance improvement and human performance technology field. So what is performance improvement and human performance technology? I'm glad you asked. We're going to talk about it. And really, it's a systematic approach to improving productivity and competence in the workforce. But the best way to explain it is to use the performance improvement slash HPT model. Each blog I'll be discussing in a few minutes is going to fit into at least one of the categories you see here. And it all starts with the performance analysis of a need or opportunity. And here we're trying to figure out what the performance gap is and what's causing it so we can solve the right problem. And once we know what our performance gap is, we can move into intervention selection, design, and development. This is where we get to choose how we're going to solve the problem and get to work creating it. And for me, it's the most fun part because I actually get to create stuff. Once the intervention is created, we move into intervention implementation and maintenance. And this is where we execute what we designed and developed, push it out to the field. Then there's the evaluation phase. If you look at the model, you'll see that evaluation is not the fourth step. It's actually happening every step of the way. And lastly, there's change management. Just like evaluation, change management is an ongoing process throughout the entire model. All right, on to the blogs. I love the logical blog by Icon Logic. So Icon Logic brands themselves as a company that provides training for people who create training, kind of like me. Uh, they're a very small company. They have about three people who are regular contributors to the blog. And the writing has a nice mix of humor and sarcasm. It's not overly cheesy, but it is enough to keep things light and interesting. So here's a screenshot of one of their posts. Their approach, uh, their approach really boils down to practical how-to tips and advice for the software that trainers and developers use. Uh, I love how they bold action steps. They provide nice screenshots throughout their post. Uh, and if you take a look at the recent post section on the left, it's jam-packed with practical tips on the software that I use most. So the niche audience for this blog is aimed at instructional designers and really anyone who has to actually create training. And looking at the performance improvement and HPT model, this blog definitely hits the intervention selection, design, and development, as well as the intervention implementation and maintenance sections very hard. Kathy Moore's blog is another one that I love. She's the only contributor, but she keeps things uh, humorous and light. She uses fun, catchy titles, uh, fun graphics that really grab your attention. And as you can see from this graphic on the screen, that she has this posted on her site, uh, and her blog posts touch on a wide array of topics. She hits uh, things like project management, goals, analysis, activities, and info. She really reaches a wide audience, and she actually hits every area of the performance improvement and HPT model. Here's an example of one of her posts, and as you can see, she uses a very clean design. She writes catchy and informative titles, she uses graphics, and I like how she uses headings throughout all of her posts. Another blog that I follow is the Training Day blog put out by Training Magazine. The physical magazine itself has tons of contributors, but the blog is written by one person, a Marjorie Weinstein. She posts about once a week, and she keeps things pretty professional. The content of the blog, well, as well as the magazine, is really broad. So according to the website, they describe themselves as a professional development magazine that advocates training and workforce development as a business tool written for training, human resources, and business management professionals in all industries. So her blogs cover the whole performance improvement and HPT spectrum as well because of just how broad it is. So needless to say, the niche audience for this blog is very wide. And as you can see from the list of blog post titles here on the screen, she covers a lot of ground. Here is actually an example of one of her posts. Uh, as you can see, they're very straightforward. No pictures, no headings, really just text. The last blog I want to share with you is CU Insight. Since I work in the credit union industry, I like to keep up on the latest happenings in the credit union world. They have a staff of six main contributors, but they also curate credit union and banking articles from all over the web. 
they keep things pretty professional, but they do in, they do throw in some fun uh, headlines and, and titles, and they write about fun topics too. So according to the website, CU Insight is the independent source for connecting the credit union community to news, opinion, press, career opportunities, vendors, and each other. And because their content ranges uh, such a wide array of topics, their audience is really just about anyone who works in the credit union industry. Here's an example of one of their blog posts, and as you can see, it's a fun one. Uh, they use pictures uh, and they use blue text to identify links to other uh, websites throughout. I could see myself writing for the Icon Logic blog, honestly. I love discovering little shortcuts and finding efficient ways to use software. I could see myself writing about some of the tips and tricks that I've discovered along the way while using software like Photoshop, Captivate, and Camtasia. Well, let's look at the performance improvement in HPT field and some of the blogs that I follow. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks.